Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 video. We are about six and a half hours away from the game release, at least in my time zone. So I'm pretty psyched about that. I think I'll even geek it up and head to my local shop to pick it up at midnight. Um, yeah, so I have uninstalled the beta, so this is not going to be a video um, covering an old replay of my own. Uh, instead, I want to talk about some of the really good content you can find on YouTube in terms of uh, StarCraft 2. Because if you just kind of search for StarCraft 2, you're going to find a lot of junk out there. A lot of old stuff from patches that don't matter anymore. A lot of stuff of people doing like, oh, let's see what happens when 50 battle cruisers face two Zerglings and, you know, just dumb stuff like that or watch me kill the computer. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of really good games that are entertaining and informative with really good uh, English commentary. So I think that's what I'm going to go over now. And of course I have my channel up here which you can see um, I think I found my little niche in the YouTube market in that uh, I'm kind of more tutorial type player and probably more for silver gold-ish league type people who are looking to up their game to a platinum diamond level. Um, but the majority of good content you'll find on YouTube is actually people commentating pro-level games. And pro-level gamers are the ones who, you know, play tournaments for money, and you can, like, just completely school your typical number one Diamond League type players. Like, they're really at a whole nother level. So, you can only learn so much from them. I mean, you can see what the best can do, whether you can emulate that yourself is another story. Um, because keep in mind these guys are really good and have really fast hands. But I'm kind of uh, getting sidetracked here. I wanted to actually share these and if you go to my channel and you click on subscriptions and if my internet's not being crappy like it has been all day, we will go, oh it is being crappy. Let's see if we make it there anyways. You can go into my subscriptions tab and you can see who I'm subscribed to and I'll go over the um, top subscribers in my Set. All right, good enough. Here we go. Okay, I don't really know what I said in the last sentence. It's more just annoyed with my internet there. But I will go over the what I think are the um, the top people to watch on YouTube. So we'll start with the big two, and that's HD Starcraft and Husky Starcraft. They both have like a hundred thousand subscribers each. So, um, yeah, they're the big two. And the pros for these two guys is. They do pretty good English commentary, it can be entertaining at times, and they cover pro-level games, but I think the biggest pro is that they just the sure, sheer amount of content they throw out. Um, you're, you're probably averaging about one pro-level game a day from each of these guys, and the reason I'm grouping them together is they are friends, and they have a very similar style of commentating, so... Yeah, and you will see different content of other channels. They don't cover the same games, which is good. So if you're just looking for, need your StarCraft 2 fix, this is a good place to go. You'll probably find lots of new uh, high pro level games to watch. Um, on the con side, uh, I'll start with HD StarCraft. And it's almost comical. It's almost like a plus side because this makes you feel so good. Whenever there's a match where there's one key decision or key strategy or key technique that was used, like some pivotal point in the game, he'll completely miss it. Like, he'll be off jabbering about something else at the on the probe line when some awesome thing is being set up somewhere else. <laughs> so, at least you know he's genuine that he hasn't actually watched these replays before commentating them. <laughs> so, it's good though. It's, it's actually kind of funny how often he does it. Um, Husky Starcraft is pretty good. Yeah, I think he's probably a little more entertaining. He's a little more funny of a guy. Um... However, he does throw up a lot of junk videos, like himself playing the computer or just some random, like, UMS custom games that he's playing, and I don't really understand the point of putting those up. No one really cares about that. So, yeah, but for the most part, these, these are the two big guys. They put the most effort into actually following and commentating top pro-level games. Um, the second guy I want to talk to here is Day9. His channel is Day9TV. Um, he has like one of those daily internet stream shows, but he puts his stuff on YouTube as well. <clears throat> and basically what he does is he spends 45 minutes covering a 20-minute game. And 
that sounds like slow and boring, but he's actually probably, as well as probably being the biggest nerd <laughs> for StarCraft, he's also probably the most informative. He's like a really high-level gamer himself, and he'll really talk about all the minute details of the game and, and more broad subjects of like uh, concepts and things you should be thinking about if you're in these situations. It's really informative. And he even does a little bit of Q&A at the end of the video taking people's questions. So if you're looking for a really analytical talk about pro-level games, this is the guy you want to watch. And then the third guy I want to talk about, or I guess the fourth, is this guy Ask Joshi. I really don't know anything about. I just um, happened upon him just when just searching through YouTube, and from just my searching, I think he's the best commentator out there. Um, he's kind of in the middle where he is. He's you can tell he's a smart guy. He knows what he's talking about, and he covers the match well. He doesn't really get into high level analysis like day nine, but um, He's just a really good commentator. He's entertaining. He doesn't miss anything when he's covering the replay, and he really, I get the feeling he understands the game well enough that he can tell you what a player is doing and why he's this player is doing it. So for me, that's probably my favorite uh, commentator. The downside for him is his, uh, he's got some technical issues. He gets a lag sometimes when he's recording, and I think he only sends out 720p videos, not the 1080p. And the other guy I've subscribed to for StarCraft 2 is this guy, Sahara Drek. Um, he's probably at my level or below, so he's not the greatest gamer in the world or the most technically knowledgeable guy, but he puts out a fair amount of content and he can be pretty hilarious at times. He's got a pretty dry sense of humor, which really makes it uh, entertaining to watch. So yeah, that's about all I want to talk about. Most of the rest of the guys in my subscriptions here are StarCraft 1 commentators. Um, I never really got big into StarCraft 1. I played it from like day one, but I stopped after a couple of years when things were still not balanced well. Actually, no, I played Brood War as well, so I don't really know when that happened. But yeah, after about a year of Brood War, I stopped playing. But uh, yeah, if you don't follow the StarCraft 1 scene, it's actually really entertaining. It's almost like a national sport in Korea where you got your stars and celebrities. And it's just, just like any other sport where if you get into it, it's actually quite entertaining. Uh, following the major leagues and tournaments and stuff. So I think um, what I'd like for this video is if you guys find anyone who's also you'd like to share who does really good YouTube content, uh, please put it in the comments. And uh, I'll actually add it to the video description if uh, I agree that there is good con content there. And yeah, I guess um, what I will probably do is I'll probably pick up the game tonight. And I think what I'll do is I'll kind of start recording as soon as I install the game. So we can watch, I'll do a video of, like the opening clip scene and the, the, the setup for the first mission. And then I'll play the first mission. And it should be a short video. I should probably be able to keep it around 20 minutes because, I mean, the first mission for StarCraft games is usually, like, you know, make three SCVs and have a tea party with them, and then you're done. It's it's, <laughs> it's not usually a tough mission. But it'll just be, just to give you an idea of uh, this what the single player looks like and how it's set up, um, I think it would be an interesting video to do. Uh, I'm not going to continue with it. I'm not going to, like, do some walkthrough of the entire game. But uh, I'll go back to doing my multiplayer replays after that. But I think on game release, it'd be nice to really see the uh, the content for the, the intro to the game and the single-player campaign. All right, so I'm mostly babbling here. Uh, hopefully I got my point across uh, about um, the people to see, and hopefully you guys can share some good content with me as well. All right, thanks, everyone.